Elephant Carpets. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with steric syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Mr. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely, with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention we'll to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. Never got on the train. Darwin's fate is sealed. Goodbye, assassin. I did so enjoy meeting you. Darwin's fate. You can't escape. You must realize that. We cannot allow Darwin to destroy what we have built. Stop and hand over the specimen now. I should deliver this to Mr. Darwin. At last! My heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful! But where is Dr. Schwartz? I'm afraid he was intercepted, sir, in Germany. However, I have recovered the fossil. Dear Lord! I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst.
my young friend. Today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. Would you be a dear and get me a copy of the newspaper? Take whatever you want. Help me! Stop that! saved my life. Correct. Now tell me, why have you attacked the newsboy? A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Here, yeah, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. Mr. Darwin will want to hear about this. are not apes. If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are... doing over there?
my young friend. How good it is to see you. Fortunate, really. It would appear a... It would appear a highly toxic... Not your average flower. Mr. Doran was right about these plants. Oh, I don't feel well. That's one less to worry about. These footprints must belong to a rogue gardener. Those noxious fumes are not being released from the flowers, but from the pots. There must be something in there. An hallucinogenic concoction of some kind. Not unlike the soothing syrup, I should think. We must dispose of it, and quickly. I believe, my young friend, that I might know just the place. Who would want to poison the population of London? Who could devise such a nefarious plan? Obviously, it can't be Dr. Elliot's. So who can it be? An organization. I'm afraid, my young friend, that some of your enemies want their toxin returned to them. I suggest you position our carriage directly in front of theirs. I believe the fumes will impair their ability to drive. Now, we must hurry and destroy our cargo. We're almost there. Escapade. 
That's pet me up to no end. The people of London are fortunate to have you on their side, my young friend. Very fortunate indeed. Well, I'd better run now. You will take good care of yourself, won't you? arrested Mr. Darwin and carried him away as if he were nothing but a common criminal. That policeman, he is corrupt to the bones, I'm sure of it. Oh, I do so fear for Mr. Darwin's safety. Miss Nightingale, on, do you, you know where they might have gone? Uh, the policeman, he did mention a funeral. I believe I know where it is. Follow me. Poor Mr. Darwin has been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. Go on. I will be waiting here. Has spoken. Though <laughs> my reins be consumed within me, I am the <laughs> No noise. Oh, just what are you walk. doing? You Is this honestly what it feels like when I arrest someone? What do you want from me? I need you to be honest with a friend of mine. Oh, you're a brash one, aren't you? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Are you lost? Not my problem. Go away. Live, we live unto the law. And whether we die, we die unto the law. Whether we live now, the man of the clock. Oh, curious. I was just carrying out my orders. Oh, no, please, don't kill me. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you have taken Mr. Darwin. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. How terrible. We will need transportation. He is very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I have seen to his wounds. They're here! Attack!
they move him now? Please look after him, Miss Nightingale. My brother and I will visit soon. Well, look who's here. We're very worried about you, sir. We're looking spry for a fossil, sir? A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud to count you among mine. The dangers pass us. No need to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. I must insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go, tell her. This is one fight I aim to avoid, sir. Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas, like people, can only thrive when they are free. My associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. My young friend, thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. It would have been a shame to lose it. Shame indeed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 